I hope you're feeling positive because this is the introvert positron, and he's here too. <laughs> this isn't going to be a Contagoras cohort series, but Phil wanted to start with this with me. Veteran, do veteran, let's go. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do veteran. It's veteran. Veteran, veteran. <laughs> yeah, veteran. I'm not actually sure. <laughs> I think either, but I could be wrong. She's doing the comment, or she was doing the comment. <laughs> but yeah. Time for Metroid Prime 2. One was done pretty quickly, actually. I think I beat the game in under 10 hours. Secretly, Samus already has Ultra Instinct. <laughs> Making Dragon Ball Super references that I only barely know because of him. <laughs> but to all those who, of you who are watching this show and are up to date, then yeah, I guess it works for you. <laughs> Lean well, dog. Sleep. Kind of. That is not a sleep. No, it's not a sleep. But it's resting. <laughs> resting is the right word. Up low, last no coordinates now. Well, we can do voice oh, acting for this one. It's not that long. Well, there's like no no point in there where there's really any voice acting for it. Ah. Exactly. That's the point. That was the joke, Thomas. Went right over uh, your head. Well, but there are a couple points because there's the light being and stuff like that. Yes. Lumerian, right. I think, is what they're called. Illuminate. Illuminate something, I think. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, so this game is very different from the first one. In a good way, actually. It's nice to see that the game did change as much as it did. Um, but we won't be getting the same power-ups in this one, we won't be getting the same I think it's general stuff. No, it sounds funny. Um, and yeah, we're gonna have fun doing this one too. Then three will be after this. I mean, basically setting up for Metro Prime 4. <laughs> Someday. If they ever release it. Oh, I'm sure they will. It's gonna be the worst one. Maybe. Still, I mean, this is a pretty good looking game for games. I don't know, that crashing was a little rough. <laughs> little rough. <laughs> Those textures are also a little rough. Just a little. Okay, now she looks pretty good. Gotta admit that. It also doesn't help that technically the TV is too wide for the actual image. <laughs> now she's gonna go and kill everyone. Yes. I think you can see her face better through the visor in this one. I could be wrong though. Oh yeah, we can't do anything with that yet. Shoot. I'm definitely not at a good angle to do this. Yep, just keep holding up like that. There we go, my arm will never get tired. Woo! Can we just pause and swap positions then? Uh, no, I just need to move around a little bit. Uh... Oh, great, now I can't. <laughs> Maybe swapping positions is a good idea. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay. There you go, dog. Oh, okay. Did I just break your chair? You might have. We'll figure that out in a minute. <laughs> no, I think it's okay. Something fell, though. No, it didn't. It just, like... Oh, that, this must have been against the bed. <sighs> okay, that's fine. It just means it's low. There no, we go. <laughs> okay, so now that little awkward situation's been <laughs> sorted out. Now Thomas, or I mean the introverted Megatron can actually play the game. Ooh, let's not fall down there yet. It's right, that's what you should have that that called yourself, the introverted Megatron. Fine. Uh, people have made that joke before, actually. <laughs> Well, okay, that's what you have to call yourself if you do any Transformer game. <laughs> Baller Cybertron, Devastation. I love this game. I love all these games. Are you gonna remember to scan everything? I mean, if I'm 100%ing it, yeah, but I'm not 100%ing it. Yes. Actually, what is this? 
Uh, source of termination and inhalation of, of industrial grade pesticide. Oh. Well, that's nice. Actually, this is the only um, Metroid Prime game that doesn't have Ridley in it. Or Space Pirates in general, actually. I think it has Space Pirates, doesn't it? No. Oh, wait, no, you're right. There is Space Pirates, but there's no Ridley. Not all about Ridley. Hello. The way you're supposed to find this is that you notice this chord and you follow it back. But. I'm also looking around kind of frantically. Give me my map. Are you trying to take this game? No. All I'm health packs, it. all missile packs. Yeah, I did that last time I played it. I'm not doing it again right now. I love these games. Like, these are some of my all time favorite games, but they've been. At least try for a 100% scan rate. No. Yeah, come on. That's the hardest go. one to do. Especially since if you miss one thing in the beginning area, you can't do it. Well, then get everything in the beginning area. That was creepy. See, those are space pirates, aren't they? No, those are actually. Um, no, those are Federation. Oh, well, soldiers. Who cares about Federation? <laughs> Federation Force. <laughs> Did that tell us what these are? Um, splinter splinter hive, yeah. Okay. Cool. That guy's corpse. That guy's corpse. Oh, right, the lore entry. Galactic Federation Marine Corp. Data transfer to your logbook. Let's actually take a look at it. Uh, there's something wrong with the lock system in this section. They failed twice, locking us out until someone came along to let us in. But it happens again while we're playing bait for those things. But at least we'll go out fighting instead of hiding in the control area. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I like also, it's also nice to have two, like, games that are very different, but the controls are similar enough that you can kind of just get back into one. Yeah. Um, this is also the hardest game in the series. Like, in the base one. Apparently, Hyper Mode in 3 is hard. Like, really hard. Well, it's definitely the most simple of them, though. Yeah, it's the simplest of the, of the three games. There's sure. no, there's no weapon swapping in most of it. The only real weapon you have to worry about it, of running out of, is your missiles. <clears throat> yeah, um, I can't remember how much we lose actually. Like how much of our weapons we lose this time? Because in the previous game there was the power outage that like caused you to lose everything, but I can't remember. I mean, we definitely lose weapons in this one, but I can't remember what weapons. Actually, I don't think you lose anything in this one. Oh, you do. Hello. Or it's one of the few ones you lose the least amount in because just of how the whole game is set up. Oh shoot, I missed. Because you don't actually start out with a lot, do you? In the game? Well, this you one. you start off with less than you did in the other one. But for instance, you have more ball mo oh, and more bombs, and you still have your various suit. Or do you? Yeah, you do. I, I don't think the suit changes in this one, though. Oh yeah, it definitely does. Well, sorry. Yes, it does, but I don't think like you go to the first suit. I think it stays the various suit. Yeah, I could be wrong. I definitely feel like we do lose stuff, though. Okay. I guess we're gonna run into whatever that is later. I think that might be more lore right here. Yeah. This stuff I'll try to get all of. Um... Okay, I don't like this plan. This hive is a small portion of a larger network. There may be dozens of hive systems like this across the planet and it may all be linked. Destroying this one may buy us time, but it may also provoke the other hives into attacking. I love the lore system in these, in these games. <laughs> I mean, it's not new, but it's done very well. 
Okay. There we go. The door's open. And more guys. More dark troopers. I never noticed that they actually have a hole in their helmet that you can see through. That's creepier than- Ah! I suck. Thing. <laughs> I'm full on everything. I can scan a door though. Happy? No. <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, maybe you do these things. Oh, uh, yeah, you do. From going into the dark world, right. Hello, Dark Samus. Oh, yeah, I never explained that. Because I didn't 100% the other game. There's a scene at the end where they actually show. Uh, Dark Sam is coming out of the corpse of Metroid Prime. Basically, Metroid Prime, when she took in the, uh, Samus's dark suit, she actually turned into a brand new being. So, Dark Samus is Metroid Prime. Which is like the phase on. Yep, well, it's the creator of phase on. Or at least it's what's no, the, it's not the original the Earth phase on. No, you're right. Corruption goes in all into that. Yeah, you're right. Hello. Oh yes, the ink. Yeah, the ink. And there's phasing again. I guess the idea is that in this case, phasing created like a phase in the two worlds or something like that. I forget how it worked. That's never good, especially since we have no idea what's actually going on yet. Well, that's nice. <laughs> oh, I guess she went into a morph ball. Okay, yeah, so we are definitely about to lose a bunch of stuff, but not the very suit, you're right about that. But I mean, you don't really start off with a lot to lose. Uh, but the gear was stolen. Yeah, because we have to go recover it. So we did have space jump, although I didn't use it. Grapple beam is gone. Morph ball. Boost Oops. unit. Gone. Power bomb gone. A missile launcher gone. Morph ball bomb gone. Um, still have morph ball though. Okay, okay, so we had a bunch of stuff. It just you didn't really have a chance to use it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I guess I have to destroy these first. Yeah, and that we obviously need a morph bomb to get through. Uh, maybe you should check the scan it. Yeah, I'll scan it. That's probably more lore right there. They're really not difficult to beat, especially when you realize that like a simple charge shot will kill them immediately. Just like the real Federation. <laughs> yeah, that just happened. Okay, yeah. So not uh <laughs> not lore. Well maybe it was, you just missed it now forever. Shh. <laughs> Don't want them to know about that possibility. <laughs> no, I don't it. Well, you're not 100%ing it. Like nope. Like a scrub. I've done it before. I don't need to do it again. I, I might do it for corruption, though, since I haven't done that one yet in general. <laughs> Open. There we go. Oh, an elevator. Guess I need to activate it first. Cool. Okay. Going up. Uh, 
Actually, I think this is, yeah, it is an actual thing. I don't know, they are or not, though. No, they're not a thing that gets into your logbook. Thank you. Yeah, this world's very different from Talon 4. <laughs> Scan mode is useful in gathering information. Really? I think this thing comes back later to give it to help us get a power up. We're also gonna find a bunch of power ups that were. Uh, you should have scanned it. You didn't scan it. Why didn't you scan it? My goodness, he's doing terrible already. Thank you. You just scanned that. Oh, actually, maybe you should. Really, right. you should have scanned it again. I guess I should scan these guys. Done. Okay. <laughs> Why did you scan those guys though? Yeah. Oh no, I haven't. That's why you need me. Sure. I just thought they were the same as the uh, hives and things that we saw earlier. Apparently they're not. Oh, we're doing for time. We're doing five for time. Okay. Oh, apparently this is also something. I honestly wouldn't have guessed that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just because you're bad at video games. Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. There's more stuff to scan. Yeah. Scan everything. No. Yes. <laughs> if you see something to scan, you better scan it. Oh my goodness, look. Scanning everything. Yes. Yes. Why is this red again? Oh, okay, I guess it was because of that. Okay, whatever. Um, honestly, these games are kind of better with the three D with the three D with motion control functions. I need more, more. I think Haley's losing it. He talks to himself all the time, and he won't sleep. He almost shot. Uh, he almost shot me on watch the other night. I think he thought I was one of those things. I talked to the doc about talking him off the line. About talking him off the line. Okay. And he told me we need all the help we can get. Taking, not talking. Ta uh, yeah, that makes more sense. Why is why was there people that was talking? Uh, that's true, but if he goes berserk and kills a bunch of us, that won't be very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that won't be very helpful at all if I, we're all fucking dead. Well, I mean, they all are dead. <laughs> Well, yeah, because they didn't take this guy off the line. He probably killed like three or four of them. There might be three or four more guys. I guess in this case, Samus was here because of these guys. I mean, she's just... Like, why, why didn't she just, like... Like, she's a bounty hunter, but she seems to be just doing the Federation's job for them. Pretty much. Temple Ground. Explain why she's so pro Federation y. Because I usually, the, like, most times, I think apart from maybe Star Trek, Federations are like the pussy organizations. <laughs> um, and by that I mean they're the organizations that don't do anything when a massive threat is there. Or they're the very last ones to do things. I, I, I might be completely wrong there, but that's usually how I've seen. That's how I remember it, so... Eh, I guess it depends. Um, I think in this case, though, I think Samus is just contracted by them. In almost every game, she's contracted by them. Yeah. But it makes sense, especially since she's so good at her job. That, and I think she was trained as part of the Federation at one point. That's Other M. Well, Other M explains that story, yeah. But that's a fact because it was part of uh, Fusion as well. Oh, okay. Actually, in a lot of ways, Fusion is kind of the precursor to Other M. There it is. You want me to scan it now? Yes. <laughs> scan everything in the area. There's a bunch of things you aren't scanning. 
I wonder what I need to do. Scan. Scan. Oh look, I think there's, there's things on the side of the wall you works. Am I allowed to let him out? Um, not yet. We'll let him out soon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I remember this area pretty well. Especially since this, I'm pretty sure, locks me out. Yeah. And you just killed something. Something got killed, yeah. Okay. Where are we now? <laughs> I mean, that's what you're supposed to think when you see a dead body, right? Lore! <laughs> uh, we'll be making our stand here. The engineer tells me there's no way we'll get the ship's engines online, and atmospheric interference is scrambling our distress people. If anyone reads this, know that we did our duty and fought well. Oh boy. Speaking of the distress signal. There's a doggy distress signal. Yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah, you can look up. <laughs> no problem. Alright. You're not scannable. Well, you are scannable, but I already got you. Yeah, they, they even have their own theme. And yet, it takes like three seconds to take them out. Oh, hello. Isn't that just like the... Don't the Aang have another same thing or similar thing? Yeah, I think they do. Um, okay, so it's turret. I mean the mysterious dark bad guys. <laughs> Lore! Oh, maybe not. And here we go. Lore! <laughs> Don't know why I couldn't get it from the outside since this is a scan visor, but that works. Um, this is ridiculous. I can outshoot half the men here and I'm stuck on monitor duty. I didn't join a uh, join up to stare at a, hol at a hollow screen. This wouldn't happen to Sam Sarah. She'd be out here and they were ta talking, uh, talking, why am I reading taking is talking? She'd be out there taking care of business, not pushing buttons and sending reports. Okay. I mean, she's a bounty hunter, so. Yeah, very different job. And I'm pretty sure she probably gets tired of going everywhere and just walk, just happen. Let's not get smushed. Maybe she, maybe she, sometimes she just wants a desk job. A desk job, yeah. Don't we all sometimes? Not really, but, you know. <laughs> everywhere. Okay. Cycle, final report, GM, uh, GFM, and C task force. While on patrol on the Dasha system, we engage an unknown space pirate. The, the um, <laughs> enemy figure was crippled and crashed on the planet Aether. Yep, we followed the pirates, but our ship was damaged by a storm as we entered Aether's atmosphere.
heavy magnetic activity activity during the storm. Ah, I can't read. <laughs> Upon landing, this one to two units, units one, one set of an off space, the other blah blah blah. Each unit was doing fine, no, no problems. problems. <laughs> Until they appeared. Mwah. Yeah, they of course being the things we've been fighting. Same thing, I'm fighting. Yes, those are frightening. Well, I mean, in hordes they would be. Well, those are corruptible. Yeah, they are. They're not the same thing. I guess it's true. Oh, wait, so is Sphinx Splinter just Splinter that have been turned by the darkness? Possibly, except that I think they exist in the dark world, but they can't exist in the light world in their normal form. Uh, at least that's what I remember. Yeah. Yeah. She closed one eye. Yep. If you take off the helmet next time, you're crazy. Space pirate, space bounty. Space pirate. Galactic Federation Marine Corps. Uh, I don't know. I'm reading that part. I'm beginning to think it was a real bad idea coming, uh, coming, uh, going down there. Um, Reeves is right. That hive is just one of many. It's stupid to stir a hornet's nest, especially if you plan on sleeping under it. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Time to <laughs> displace them. Yikes. Lots of lore. <laughs> uh, Brutal lost the bet, so he switched watch to do with me. I figure this section is nice and safe and boring, which suits me just fine. Let those other pugs... Yeah, okay, that's right. Let oh, those other pugs guard the hot zone. I... Hold on. Hey, wait! No! He... Transmission ends. Dark Samus, maybe. Maybe, probably. Just more of those things, though. Apparently, I can't scan things by pressing A button, which is weird because I wasn't even trying to do that before. <laughs> okay. Man, I hope that 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 would be Okay. Man, I hope that is the only breeding ground for these things. If there's more, we're in big trouble. We had a hard enough time taking that one out of commission. Almost ran out of ammo. I never ran out of ammo. Yes, yeah, so they stumbled on hives. Um. Yes. Yes. The Sarge says those splinters remind him of some killer bug he saw on another planet once. All I know is the things are fast and take a lot to drop. Pretty soon we'll have to go to bayonets. Everyone's low on ammo, even Brody, and he's the stingiest grunt I know. I hear them everywhere. They're coming. Can't sleep. Ever. They'll eat me. Eat. Okay. I think that's another one up there. Yep. Apparently we're 91% through the trooper logs. <laughs> Gotta love Whoa. the first, like, 30 minutes. Uh, last night at Chow, Aang Sef started talking about some bounty hunter and how she blew up a planet full of space pirates. I told her I didn't believe in fairy tales like that, and she took it personal. I just find it hard to believe that one person took an entire space pirate base. That's all. But if she wants to believe in the Samus, or Bigfoot, or Santa Claus, she can. How did I know about Bigfoot or Santa Claus? <laughs> what? 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 People don't believe in Samus? 
Apparently. Well, I mean, it is a pretty, like, spectacular tale. But I mean, like, there's proof that she exists. Yeah. Well, mostly if they take a look at their own, like, logs. <laughs> scanning chairs. I love scanning chairs. I guess this just, yeah, this just tells us who was sitting where. Come on. Let's get all these chairs done. Ah, map. Give me my map. <sighs> We're probably not too far away from the save point at this point. Yay! Yeah, so now this is what the area actually looks like. It's massive. Surprise. And this doesn't look like a boss for like a potential important area at all, eh? Oh, no, of course not. Yeah, and then I just have to get out. Yeah, and these were the commanders. Okay. Awesome. Commander and pilot. Off we go. Mm. Oh, okay. It's a kinetic cannon. Uh, oh, apparently we need to activate it. <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember this. Fire! Uh... Okay. Let's go down to the door I can't open. And another door I can't open. Ah! I fell. I have to go do that again. <laughs> Where in the world? Huh. Is the door that I can't go through. <laughs> go cannon strike. Yeah. You need missiles for it. Yeah, I don't have missiles yet. You'll get him eventually. Yeah, it should be pretty quick. Oh. Seriously? Scan that guy. I already did. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, wow. That requires a power bomb. Yeah, I already scanned him. Do I not, like, do I already have the missiles and I don't realize it? It's a missile phone. It's a launcher effect there. Yeah. Okay. So obviously that's not the way to go then. But where do I go then? Up. Um. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, there's a door right there. I just must have missed it. Because you're bad. Oh. Or it's around the corner. Oh no, never mind. It's the one that's through this. Which I can't do anything about yet. What do you need for that again? Um, you uh, get the access to them as you go through the game. It's honestly, you just need a scan visor. It's just, you just need the data you need to unlock it. Ah, uh, right. Uh, special doors. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just missing something. I know that we're supposed to be here. It's just a question of where we need to go next. Scan everything, scan everything right now. You gotta scan it. I think we already did. Um, yeah. Scan that guy again. There you go. Scan, look for, look at it. Just look in the scan visor, honestly. Yeah, I guess it's sure. Uh. 
I don't see a way out of here. That's All weird. Right. I don't remember there being anything confusing at this point. Oh, there. No, it's through another gate. Yeah. There. Isn't that through another gate? Might be. Can we... Yeah, so the entrance is right. So, I should have the missiles, basically, is what I'm being told. Oh, yeah. That's right, because that, that is where I need to go. Yeah, the T means it's one of those doors. Okay. I'm officially confused. Oh, I'm going backwards. Maybe there is something back here. Yeah, you're locked out. Oh, look, yeah. you can scan it. No, I can't. Oh, I can scan this, yes. Yeah, and I can't get out until I have... Wow, okay. So not that way. Huh. I know this is right. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps with the channel and it's always appreciated. I'm going to leave some links here so you can go check out some other stuff on my channel or you can always just search the channel, there's lots of stuff for people, playlists and all that stuff. Um, and so on that note, thank you again, have a great day, and remember to keep positive.